Hello everyone, it's me Raquel from Succulents Box. Welcome back to our weekly plant care session today with another stunning succulent, Cocoon Plant Senecio Haworthii, also called Woolly Succulent. Before we start, it's important to note that this plant is considered toxic to both humans and pests if ingested. The alkaloids found in this plant can cause liver damage and other health issues if consumed in large quantities. Let's talk about lighting first. Cocoon plants love bright but indirect sunlight, so it's best to place them near a window that gets a lot of light. It requires at least 4-6 to six hours of light daily. Without enough sunlight, the plant may become leggy. You can place this plant near a south or west facing window and consider using a grow lamp. If grown outdoors, find this plant a bright and sunny spot that allows it to bask in the morning sun and protect it from the intense afternoon heat to prevent sunburn. When it comes to watering, cocoon plant is more sensitive to overwatering compared to other succulents. Sitting in wet soil for too long can make this plant become leggy or lead to root rot. Water your cocoon once every two weeks, then check the soil moisture to adjust the watering schedule. Stick your finger into the soil, and if it's still damp, hold off on watering your cocoon until the soil dries out completely. Another way to check if your plant needs water is by giving the leaves a gentle press. If they feel firm, the plant still has enough moisture to survive. If the leaves start to droop and shrivel up, it's a sign that your cocoon plant is underwatered and in need of a drink. Temperature rise, cocoon plant prefers warm temperatures ranging from 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. They can tolerate slightly cooler temperatures during the winter months, but it's important to keep them away from the cold drafts and frost. Cocoon can tolerate a range of humidity levels, but they prefer dry air with humidity levels ranging from 30 to 50 percent. In terms of soil, cocoon plant is not a picky succulent. Any porous, well-draining soil mix will do. You can choose a ready-made succulent and cactus soil, or mix your own soil by using two parts of traditional potting soil, one part of perlite, and one part of sand. To feed your cocoon plant, use a succulent fertilizer once a year during the active growing season in the spring. When it comes to potting, always prioritize drainage. Choose a good succulent soil mix with a pot at least one drainage hole. Pots made from porous materials like concrete, ceramic, or terracotta with a drainage hole are best for your succulent. When you repot your cocoon plant, always do so during the growing season in spring and summer. Repot every once to every two years in a pot around 10% larger than its previous pot. You can actually grow a new cocoon plant from its leaves, but the easiest and most reliable way is by using stem cuttings. Here's what you need to do first. Find a healthy stem from the mother plant and use a clean, sharp knife or scissors to cut it. Then let the cut end dry and form a callus for a few days before planting the cutting in well-draining soil. One of the biggest challenges you might face with your cocoon plant is making sure it has good drainage and avoid overwatering. If the soil gets too wet, it can cause all sorts of issues like root rot, mold, pests, and fungal infections. Cocoon plant isn't very susceptible to pests, but it can still be attacked by scale and mealybugs. It is important to keep your eye on your cocoon plant and treat any issues early before they become a big problem. That's it for today's video everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and consider subscribing for more content. If you've got any questions or recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. Happy gardening! For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.